What's up, Internet? It's time for another Battle Box review, and I've got the very first box of 2016 right here in front of me. This is Mission 11, and this month's missions theme is very near and dear to my heart, and I think you're going to like it. So let's jump into this box. I promise you, you're going to like it. Because I dang sure do. box theme is hunting. It's the hunting box. Very near and dear to my heart. It's what I do. I love hunting. I looked over my shoulder and there she was looking at me like this right here. And then she said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk right down inside these woods right here and I'm going to tell everybody else. <laughs> and Dave's a deer hunter. But when they give you that look, it's over, man. They got you. He's hurt. He's down. He's dead. He's going on the wall. Oh. Big things are going to happen. Come on, split. Well, maybe I like to goof off and do a little bit of hunting. Nonetheless, I enjoy hunting. I grew up hunting. Um, I'm bringing my kids up hunting, and they enjoy to do it, and they enjoy spending time with me in the outdoors hunting. And, and you know, it's just something that I do. I, I film all my hunts. I film others' hunts, and we have a great time. Um, so, again, this month's box is the hunting box. Uh, as always, we've got the uh, card here that has um, kind of the, the theme here, Hunt to Survive. Um, mission 11 January 2016 and as always on the other side we have each level of battle box and uh, the cost of each item um, in relation to what the subscription cost is so let's jump into this thing shall we so first on the list here is camo face paint from Rothko it got a value of two dollars and ninety five cents for the basic box um, so this is your standard you know run-of-the-mill camouflage here that you can find at uh, Army surplus stores and things like this. I used to use this a lot when I was a kid uh, playing in the woods, playing Army with my friends, you know, growing up. But uh, typically they got two colors here. Yeah, it's got two colors. Uh, it says here, light green and lone color. Apply with fingers to dry skin. Avoid contact with the eyes. So you got a green and the loam color here, which is brown, pretty much. So, um, I don't know, if you watch a lot of hunting TV or see you know, people on Instagram and stuff like that when they're deer hunting and things, some people go a little extreme with the face paint. I mean, they pure put designs on their face, make sure each side is perfect. I mean, sitting there with a the mirror and putting it on, making sure it's right. You don't have to do that. If you want to do that, that's fine. But um, you know, just apply this to your cheeks and areas, areas that, that can glare or whatever and that can uh, shine in the sun to help blend you into your surroundings. You can even put them on the back of your hands and stuff like that. I've seen people that do that. A uh, great thing to have in your pack. And if you're going to do a design on your face, I recommend you do the Mike Tyson look. Okay, I get it. Mike Tyson's the only one that can pull off the face design thing. Okay, not this guy, and I'm okay with that. Nonetheless, the uh, the camo face paint here comes in at two dollars and ninety five cents, and it's the first item on the basic box. I'm gonna go clean this off real quick. All right, so now that we're back to normal, let's get to the second item on the box here. The second item on the basic box is the Magnet Camo Form Wrap. Um, this stuff right here is pretty cool. I've used uh, a product similar to this for several years. Um, it's basically a fabric uh, reusable wrap, and uh, they got the Cryptek camo here. Cryptek's a really cool camo, it just come out a couple years ago. So um, let me open this up. Got the old Karambit here from a past box. Um, it's kind of similar to some uh, some of the wraps, like like you get in a first aid kit, you know, for bandaging and things like that, but it's flexible, 
It's got the really cool Cryptek camo to it there, and it kind of bonds to itself and sticks to itself very well. So this is great for um, putting on putting on your firearm if you got a really shiny firearm or something like that, and you want to help conceal it. You can put this on your firearm. And it's not going to stick and leave any residue or anything like that on it. Um, you can use it to help bail things together, bind things together, keep a bandage on your body. Very cool product right here. The Magnet Camo Form Wrap comes in at $15.95 as the second item on the basic battle box. Put my carbit down here. I'm going to need it again. The third item on the basic box is this Sharp X Pivoting uh, ceramic and carbide knife sharpener from Outdoor Edge. Outdoor Edge is a really cool company. They're very innovative. They've got a lot of really nice knives on the market. And I've actually got a knife that my dad gave me that's an Outdoor Edge knife. It's about nine years old. He gave it to me for Christmas. And I still use it today. It's a great knife. Um, holds its edge very well and it sharpens very well. So here we've got a, uh, a sharpener from Outdoor Edge. I want to open it up. Get a little bit closer look at it. Here we go. It's got a uh, it's got a really nice area here to hold. You twist this right here, and you can set it down flat on the table. And you've got your coarse carbide area, and then you got your fine ceramic to really finish off the edge there. Very nice. It's, it's real sturdy. It's, it doesn't feel cheap. And it's an outdoor edge. I mean, I, I can attest, outdoor edge makes excellent products, and. Uh, that's, that's a great thing to have. That comes in at $12.50, the Outdoor Edge Knife Sharpener. Next on the list is a ReadyMan Wilderness Survival 2.0 card for $12.95 is their, um, their uh, MSRP for it. So we've gotten quite a few ReadyMan products over the past few months from BattleBox, and man, they got really cool stuff. and. And like I said in the other uh, videos, you just break these off like you would like parts for a model car or something like that, and you can use them. We got a saw here. You got a uh, three-pronged barb here that you can use for like a frog gig. Some hooks, arrowheads. Very cool product from Ready Man. Uh, that comes in. The 2.0 card comes in at twelve dollars and ninety-five cents. So the next item on the list for the basic box is this pocket hunting and fishing guide right here. This is a really cool book. It's got tips, tactics, and must-have gear on the inside. Um, I mean, it tells you all kinds of stuff in here. See, uh, how to swing your rifle on moving deer. Tricks on keeping your feet warm and on the coldest days. Teaching your dog not to be gun shy. Natural bait riddles solved. Uh, all kind of cool stuff. Forecasting the weather. So. Got in here how to identify different types of wildlife, ducks, um, fish. Let's see what else we got in here. Surf fishing tips, trolling results. Um, very cool. Very nice little book right here. It's got on here, uh, you know, how to identify tracks. It's a great read. This would be a great thing to also, you know, read with your kids. I mean, kids love this kind of stuff, man. Learning about different animals, how to identify their tracks and different things like that. Um, I know my kids enjoyed, we just go out in the woods, walk around around the creek and stuff like that and look at, you know, raccoon tracks and deer tracks and um, we just have some coyote tracks and stuff like that around. So they really enjoy doing that. So this is a great way, you know, with your kids to, you know, you may learn something yourself in there, but also, passing on this kind of stuff to children is a big deal. It is a big deal to me. So, um, hunting and fishing guide right here. Very cool. So, this comes in at $9.95. The next item on the list is $0.62, cents, and it is a mousetrap. Now, I'm sure you've seen a mousetrap before, and I'm sure a lot of you have used mousetraps before, but I'm sure you've never thought of it in a way of, you know, catching food we don't want to eat a mouse right but if you absolutely had to eat a mouse you probably would but these aren't necessarily just for just for mice let's face it it's, it's a critter and it's got some meat on his bones so survival situation you'll you'll eat whatever you can catch so 
a frog if you do it just right. You can put you a little fly right there and catch it. No, I'm joking. These things are smart pretty good, man. They slam down on you. On you. I'm glad my finger won't there. And you could probably catch a small bird, catch a wounded squirrel pretty good, and slow them down enough where you can get a hold of them. It's something to kind of make you think. You know, put this in your pack, you never know what you might could use it for. So this comes in at 62 cents, the Victor Mousetrap. I'm gonna move some stuff around over here. The last item on the basic is a battle box reversible beanie, or as we call them down here in the south, a toe bogging. And I know you people up north saying, that's not a toe bogging. That's a really cool deal right there. And it's hunter orange as well, so you can wear this, you know, um, make sure that nobody shoots at you because they think you're a deer or a critter, but it's reversible and you got, this one's gray. So I'm assuming everybody's getting the same color. I don't know. There might be some people out there getting different colors, but this one is orange on one side and kind of a grayish charcoal gray on the other with the orange battle box logo. It's very cool. I like these. This comes in at $14.95. So that's the last item on the basic box for the hunting box. So that brings the total value of the basic box to $69.87 and the basic subscription is $25.24.99. So very cool items in the basic box. Toe bugging. All right, so next up is the advanced box. The advanced box has got two items in it and there's a knife in the advanced box. So again, uh, Outdoor Edge, I'm telling you, check out their products. You know, when you get done with this video, go to Outdoor Edge website and check out the products. They got a ton of cool knives and they're good stuff. And here's one of my favorites right here. I love this little knife right here. This is the Razor Light. So a few years ago, they came out with a, uh, dang on man, it's in there good. A knife that has razor blades, basically, re replaceable blades on the knife. And uh, this is their EDC knife, Everyday Carry Razor Light. Very cool knife, man. I mean, very cool knife. You've got a freaking razor blade. My knife's razor sharp. Well, well mine's a freaking razor blade. How about that? It ain't gotta be sharp like a razor. It is a damn razor, right? Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that, that's a nice knife. This is a very, very good knife. It's got a really nice handle on it. It's got the Outdoor Edge logo there on the side, clip on the back. Um, it's a block a locking knife here, so locks down just like your typical you know, folders do. But um, what makes this different is the blade can be replaced. So it comes with some extra blades here, as you can see here. And uh, basically what you do is you've got a button here on the side. You push that button and you very carefully, so you don't cut yourself, you slide this blade right out. Comes right out. So you get a new blade, you slide it right back in there. The Outdoor Edge Razor Light comes in at $35.95. It comes with extra blades, instruction manual, and uh, man, that's just, that's just an awesome knife. And it's in the advanced box. So um, you guys that do the advanced subscription should be really pleased with that. I think that's great. Next item on the advanced box and the last item is this small game trap right here. This is a uh, Bridger number one coil spring game trap. Comes in at $6.95. Um, so some states and, and uh, you know, they've got laws on trapping. So check your, check your laws before you go out and, and try to use this. I mean, obviously if you're in a survival situation, um, you do what you gotta do to eat, right? But, but there are some laws in certain states, you know, with trapping, you got to have a license trap, like a hunting and fishing license and, and a trapping license. But nonetheless, um, you anchor this down either with a stake or to a tree or something like that, so that when the animal steps in this and it and it clamps onto their leg, they can't run off with it. It keeps them there till you come by to check your trap. 
But basically what you do is you, you take your feet and you put your boot on each side, put a boot on each side and you press this down. And when you press this down, it will tension down and then you've got to lay the jaws open and set, set the, uh, the trigger here, the foot, the foot pad. And uh, set out some bait, camouflage it, cover it up, sift some dirt over it to cover it up and hope they walk through and step right on that spot. It'll clamp down on their leg and they can't go anywhere. So a uh, very cool thing to have. Um, trapping is really cool. I've been reading about it and been watching some videos on it. It's something that I'd kind of like to, to learn how to do. There's a lot to it. Um, the guys, they spend lots of time preparing these. They boil them, uh, dip them in a certain type of wax, you know, to help keep, you know, keep the human scent off of them and things like that. They don't handle them with their hands without wearing gloves. I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. Trapping's a big time sport. So very cool thing to start learning with a small game trap like this. Um, again, this comes in at $6.95. So the advanced box, uh, you got the knife and the trap in addition to the basic comes in at uh, $112.07 value, and it's a $50 box, $49.99 for the advanced box. Woo! Pro box has two items. How about that? Come on. All right, so the first item on the Pro box, which is the $100 box, the $99.99 box, is an Outdoor Edge Harpoon. Yes, another Outdoor Edge product. All right. So here we got the Outdoor Edge Harpoon. I'm going to open this bad boy up and I'm going to do it with my new Razor Light EDC right here. I'm trying not to cut myself. Yeehaw! All right, so uh, there's, there's some pretty good directions on this product right here. You can use it as a regular survival knife, which is the way it comes, a survival knife with the uh, paracord wrapped on it already. Check that out, man. That's, that's a really cool really cool knife right there really cool so as you can see here you can use it as a survival knife with the cord wrapped around the handle you can get a, a piece of green wood or sapling or something and you can actually cut you a slot into it and then use the paracord to uh, to attach the blade to it and have a spear it comes with this piece here that you can strap the knife to to give it a bigger handle or longer handle and then what's really cool is this right here has a threaded end so it'll thread right into a broom handle so you can thread that rascal right into a broom handle and have your spear or thread it into a retractable handle that you can you know keep in a bug out bag or something like that so very cool and useful blade right there very nice and it comes with a nice sheath and if you're using it um, when it's not in a handle, you've got a, uh, a compass on here that screws right into the bottom of the uh, plastic handle. So very freaking cool, very cool knife right there. So, so yeah, man, I mean, if you got the Pro Box, you've got two blades. You get, and they're both outdoor edge blades. I mean, you can't beat that. So you get the Razor Light and this if you got the pro box and it shows here you know this handle is hollow so you can put matches or, or whatever else in there as well so really cool well thought out product right there very cool the price of this uh 39.95 is the msrp of the outdoor edge harpoon 39.95 so the next item on the the uh the pro box here is a pocket shot slingshot pocket shot slingshot. Check this thing out. It's got shot in there too. Says here, shoots up to 350 feet per second. Use many types of ammo. Looks like we got little ball bearings there. What is that? Marshmallows? Looks like we've even got marshmallows. Compact design fit in your pocket here. Let's open this thing up. So yeah, you got some, uh, some, uh, man, there's a bunch of them in there. Some uh, ball bearings in there. 
So basically, from what I, it's just a rubber, uh, like a, like a bellows material that can tuck up in like that. And man, that's that's really comp. That's really cool. I've never seen anything like this. I guess you. Yeah, so you hold it, hold it like that, pull it back. You take one of your ball bearings, drop it in there. And you just pull it back and let her rip. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. My wife's probably gonna come in here in a little bit. That's really cool. Small, compact. Uh, you know, fit in your pocket. So that'd be great, man. I'm gonna try try to play with this a little bit outside instead of inside the house. I'm gonna break a window or something. You know, if you learn how to shoot it and you get pretty accurate with it, I mean, I guess you could shoot a rabbit or something with it for for something to eat for your hunting purposes. It's very cool. So this uh, old pocket shot slingshot comes in at nineteen dollars and ninety five cents for that little slingshot. So you get these two items: the harpoon and the slingshot in the pro box. So the pro box value comes in at $171.97 and it's a $100 box, a $99.99 box. Last and certainly not least is the pro plus box. And in the pro plus, you know, we usually get a knife or something that has some sort of a blade to it or something like that. So that would mean in this month's pro plus, you've gotten three knives. Yeehaw. So this month's knife, American made from Buck Knives, okay? This is the um, game scanner. It says here's $125 value, the small game scanner. Let's check this knife out here. That's a pretty knife. Put that in there. So it comes with a nice leather sheath. Check that bad boy out right there. That's really cool. It feels good in the hand too. So yeah, the game skinner. Be a great skinning knife right there. Or to use on small fish. Uh, it's got a nice wood handle with a metal inlay. Has the buck logo there and on the blade. Very nice. That's a really nice knife. Good edge to it. So the buck knife, this is $125 value. It is the game skinner, the small game skinner. Very cool. That's a nice sheath too, because it kind of, instead of it sliding in, it kind of comes in from the side. Very cool. The Pro Plus comes out at $296.97. And it's a $150 box. So awesome value this month. Absolutely ridiculous value. Well, I think 2016 has started off with a bang, to be quite honest with you. Three blades in this month's Pro, box, Pro Plus box. So, uh, you know, very, very pleased with this month's box. You get a couple traps, you get some nice blades and some literature, and uh, always cool getting stuff from Ready Man. So I'm really, really impressed with this month's box, and I think it's a great value and a great thing to have in your um, in your kit, you know, if you're building bug out kits or, or, you know, day bags and stuff like that, or just going out and messing around in the woods, this is cool stuff to have. So really pleased with it. Um, next month is mission 12, obviously. So that's going to be the end of the year of the battle box video series, but I'm going to continue the battle box videos. So we'll kick it off with, um, 13 and, and roll right on with that in March. So really looking forward to, um, continuing the battle box videos and, and it's simply because you, you guys that watch it you, you guys that have been watching my videos and subscribing to my channel I really appreciate the support and appreciate you guys watching it and you know that's the only reason why I want to continue doing it you know because I, I enjoy doing it I enjoy the battle box subscription and, and I enjoy sharing with you guys so thanks so much for the support if you haven't already be sure to hit the subscribe button to my channel I want to try to get a lot more frequency of videos out in 2016 um, with, with other kinds of reviews and, and things like that. So um, be sure to hit the subscribe channel. 
Also, if you think this is something that you'd like to try out, if you're not a member, go to BattleBox.com, look around their website, and see if there's a level of subscription that fits your budget, and, and give it a shot. If it's something that you think you'd like to do, I really think that uh, if you find one that fits your budget, you'll really enjoy it. The, the value's there, and um, you know you get some really cool stuff. I mean, you really do. It's like Christmas every month, so be sure to check out BattleBox.com. And also check out my website, Curran1776.com. I'm trying to get that rolling in conjunction to the YouTube channel. So you can find some cool things there and some links to some companies that I've, that I've purchased stuff from that I enjoy that, that I like to pass on the information to you. So be sure to check that out. So again, this is Mission 11, and I hope you guys enjoyed this month's box. Um, I'll see you next time on the next Curran Guns Gear America Battle Box Review. Thanks for watching. Hey, check this out. One more thing I want to tell you guys. Another reason why 2016 is kicking off pretty good is um, I'm actually going to Las Vegas in two weeks with the guys from BattleBox. Uh, they called me up about a month ago. They're going to the SHOT Show in Las Vegas, and they asked if I wanted to hang out with them and go. So um, I'm going with them uh, out there to the SHOT Show. We're going to look around at some cool stuff, and they actually want my input on some cool things to put in the future boxes of the battle box subscription. So uh, I'm going to video while I'm out there and I'm going to try to upload videos while we're there at the show. So long as I got a good internet connection and everything, hopefully I got a good internet connection. I can up, so upload some, some videos of what we see during the day and us messing around. Who, who knows what's going to happen, but the cameras are going to be running. So, so um, be sure to be looking out for some videos of me hanging out with the Battle Box crew in Las Vegas. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see those Las Vegas videos. But here's the cool part about this knife. As you can see here on the top, you've got some ridges here for grip. But also, if you take your thumb and you pull back on that, very nice handle. Their handle here, according to their website, is a G10 material, and you can also get it in Hunter Orange or Blaze Orange. So it's a very cool knife. It's got a great